Hey everybody, Ranchin here, bringing you all another StarCup commentary. Lost Saga MSL continues, gonna be the second set of Group D that is in the round of 16 between Hwasen and Luxury. Or maybe between Luxury and Hwasen. Which one do you prefer? I think Hwasen sounds more catchy, because Hwasen's before Luxury in the alphabet. That's just the way it is, so that's fair. So yeah! <laughs> Luxury with a 1-0 lead, so Hwasen has to pull out all the stops to get back in this game. And of course he also has a very very important game to play tomorrow in the OSL. Well, actually tomorrow is today, but never mind, he has to play another game in the OSL, which whether depending on whether he wins or loses will determine whether he moves on to the round of 8. So he's got two round of 16 matches to play over two days and we'll show whether he gets there, but uh... His TVZ skills are his best matchup at over at about 63%. So if there's anybody who can beat, he should be able to beat Hwasen. Hell, closing his eyes, focusing, getting his mental strength going. He knows he has what it takes. He just got to do it. He should have been able to win the last match, but somehow just let Luxury stay in the game for too long. And the Luxury, aka Practice, this is actually his worst matchup, but even his, as his worst, it's a pretty good. He's about 55% against Terran. Which, as a worst matchup, I must say, is not bad at all. Uh, overall, we're just gonna see how it is that he manages against Watson here. Luxury against the Red Sniper. Uh, just a real, real look forward to seeing, I mean, how this goes up. His brother has a somewhat easier matchup ahead of him than Luxury himself, so... Yellow Yarnak has to face against Zero, but that's a story for another day. So, let's get this shtick going. Four, three, two, one, go. What? 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 Yeah, you. Some growling in the background. What? Yeah, you. What? You. Or something. Right. It's gonna be on Byzantium two four player map and it's blue. Yay! It's early in the morning. Well, not really early. It's just I went to sleep late. I went to sleep late. Don't know why. Oh well. Eleven o'clock. Orange. Terran. Hwasen. Five o'clock. Teal. Zerg. Luxury. Let's get it on! I want a good clean fight! <sighs> but overall, just looking forward to seeing what kind of builds. This is a pretty even map. Uh, I believe Terrans have a couple more wins on this map. But overall, this map is one of the more balanced maps between the races. Uh, you got a pretty, pretty open middle, which allows for some Zerg maneuverability. But, however, you... Uh, it's pretty easy to wall off a choke if you wall off your natural. Walling off your main is pretty difficult because it's a ramp that leads upwards, so a zergling run by is possible. Well, you don't really see many zergling run bys in <laughs> TVZs. I believe both players are going to go pretty standard economics. Uh, I, I am thinking 12 hatch most likely from luxury, and uh, depending on whether Hwasen goes for mech or medic marines he might go either barracks into expansion or f uh, factory into expansion i don't think he'll cc because last time zerg and <laughs> just earlier <laughs> in the in the day for those guys savior and up magic played and up magic went yeah and you all know what that happened. Extractor chick coming from Luxury, so he's trying to get a little bit more drones going there. No uh, gas yet for up magic and a barrack. So he's going to try to at least partially wall off his ramp there. And no gas so far. Uh, this at least has the early showings of being a medic marine. Hwasen is kind of a more old, slightly old school guy. He uses medic marines quite a bit. 12 pool, meanwhile, coming down from Luxury. So, or either 12 pull or an over pull. No, it's actually an over pull, apparently. So, over pull from luxury. He's gonna not go too heavy economy, just waiting for that thing to come down. Or actually, 9 pull. Okay, wow. Totally missed that pull there. 9 pull from luxury. Luxury going very, very early. Aggressive, aggression. Oh, I didn't see any gas from him. But pull shows very, very even. A few more people think that Hwasen will win, but overall, the pull is very, very even. Especially with. Hwasen's recent good slash bad performance, I mean, he killed Best, Flash, and Jadong all, like, in 2-3 days, then he lost a bit, then he won a bit, he's kind of one of those players right now, especially that just doesn't know whether to be good or bad, Zergling's now running around, gonna see whether they manage to do any damage, I don't know 
whether the players have scouted each other out. Second barracks mill come down for Huasin, so he's going to go back Marines, and he has put a pretty decent blockade on his downward ramp, so he should be able to hold off Luxury fairly, fairly long. Luxury, meanwhile, is not putting down his hatchery, so he's going to get exp his expansion going pretty soon. This is going to allow Huasin to stay on one base for a little longer because Luxury only has a second base going up right now, so he's going to be pretty fine on second base. Uh, good thing about being a Terran. Ooh, Huasin easily gets the SCV by that one Zergling, and Luxury is going to be completely successful with this. There are Terrans that are going to start attacking the supply depot, but there are two Marines there to push back those Zergling, so they're not going to be very successful in it. But yeah, as I was saying, Kwasin, of course, being a Terran player, when you go Medic Marine, you can stay off fewer bases for a longer time, because you won't need such a humongous amount of gas. M mind you, when you want to start uh, getting a critical mass of science vessels, you should definitely take a third gas to really afford that. But overall, uh, at the mid-game, you can stay off two bases for a fairly decent amount of time, although in the last game, Kwasin stayed... Uh, on two bases for far too long, I believe. Now just getting his gas going, so he's gonna get get an academy up, get some upgrades and such and such and such. Academy just now coming up. Meanwhile, Luxury has put down a hatchery and uh, a third hatchery down between the natural and the main. So that's just gonna be a production hatchery. We're gonna see what kind of build it goes for. Could be, could be three hatch Muta. Uh, I'm not sure whether he went for quick gas or not. I didn't really see much. I th his gas was fairly late, so two gas Muta might not be. He might actually be going for three base lurkers instead. Two hatch lurkers. It could be a build, although uh, maneuverability-wise, there is a very long distance to travel. Uh, I think Mutalisks might be actually a better idea. Mutalisks hold off uh, Medic Marine Force very well. If, if a Medic Marine Force wants to push out, Mutalisks are a perfect way to hold them off. Meanwhile, Creep Colony being put down natural by Luxury, peeling careful. I don't think Watson's going to push out. Nope, he's going to put down a Command Center, try to get an economic advantage going, because two bases for the, both players is going to force Luxury to expand fairly soon as well if he wants to. Uh, not be completely overrun by Watson now getting his lair going. So from then on, I don't see a Hydro stand from him yet. So I assume he's going to go for two base mutas. So he has been mining gas for a while now. After as soon as he got there, tried to go. In, uh, first Marines now out for Watson. I'm going to see whether he tried to go for some sort of push. There's those zerglings out there. At the very least, I think Watson should clear those out so they don't become a pe pesky, pesky little critters later on in the game. Uh, another. Wow, another sunken being put down at the natural for Luxury also getting a second gas, so he's feeling that there's way too many marines on the ground for him to be careful. Uh, Engineer being now going for up for Kwasin, so he's gonna have turrets in time, he's gonna spot, he of course knows that lair there, so he's gonna probably assume um, some mutilus, he's definitely gonna get ready for that, pump down a couple of turrets. Uh, probably has a scan going, so you should be able to scan both locations in a little while to check the, for the spiral location. And of course, he will have weapons upgrades coming for his marines soon enough. It's also going to help him all not in this fight. Uh, Stim has been upgraded for the marines. I assume they have range at this point as well. They should. If not, then fairly soon. Third barracks are coming up for Quasim. He's going to start pumping a little bit. He has his mo ma uh, natural going, so he's going to be on two bases, and I think he's going to stay on those bases for a little while until he decides to make go for higher tech and get some science vessels in the air, but he's, he will be getting some tanks out fairly soon. Second comp set station not coming up for Watson again. He's going to use those three sunkens being all at the natural for luxury. I think he might be actually getting uh, uh, sunken too many. Uh, there's of course resources he could be using for some troops or getting some yeah, st slightly stronger economy. He, he needs some troops on the ground. He needs some troops not just on the ground but everywhere. Meanwhile, factoring coming down for Quas and Luxury. I think he needs some troops on the ground, running around, trying to see, trying to scout around, trying to do some sort of damage. Academy now blinking again, so I assume that's range of fourth sunk, I meanwhile, and a spire coming down for Luxury, so he's being very, very careful. And I think Quasin has what it takes to take out this spire. I think a scan will, I, will find that. I mean, there won't be any SCVs to find that, but there will be turrets in time to counter any mules. I don't see turrets being put up quite yet, but I think Quasin will be putting them up soon enough, okay, no turrets yet, um, don't know why, maybe just waiting for the perfect, perfect timing, Milano has his medic marine group just guarding his natural, has a few a little bit further away, close to that mineral only, Luxury just waiting, is mining his second gas, so he's going to have a few minerals going, a bunch of eggs all morphing, and this economic harassment is going to be very important, we're going to see how well that is that Luxury harasses Hwasin here, and how well Hwasin reacts, if Hwasin manages to hold off his uh, mutalisks and possibly even push out, he's not going to be allowed to push out with those mutalisks in the air, but if he holds them off fairly well, doesn't allow any serious economic harassment going, possibly pulls off a contingent of his forces to the ground where he's going to be able to put down, uh, not pre prevent expansions, 
Hydro's dead meanwhile now coming down for Luxury, which means that probably going to see Mutal Lurkers fairly soon. But yeah, if he manages to prevent Luxury from expanding a, a, a second time, that will let him, without, you know, taking any serious economic damage himself, he should be able to prevent this. Meanwhile now, two turrets being put down at the natural, three turrets, and there are going to be some turrets at the main, I assume, as well. And he has that Medic Marines group running around, should have some Medic Marines in his base, as well as his natural... Uh, Starport not being put down by Quasar, so we'll be getting Science Missiles fairly soon, of course, Science Missiles with Radiate, Melt Mutalisks any day of the week, and if he manages to get a critical mass, it'll be pretty good. Now, Mutalisks going to be flying into the main, going to see whether they manage to do some da damage, still a bunch of Mutalisks uh, at the other location for Luxury as well. Luxury, of course, has very good Mutalisk micro, not that any pro gamer doesn't have, but he is... His is quite exceptional. So we're going to see how it is that he manages this harassment here. There are turrets there to meet him. A couple of turrets only, though. And he's going to start by snapping those off. He is taking some damage, but the second turret also goes down. So now he has free reign. No medic, no medic in that location. 